Hello internet people, in this video I'll show you how you can fix a WordPress error like this one. The site is experiencing technical difficulties. This is caused usually by an error in a plugin and I'll show you how you can see which plugin is causing this issue and how you can get your website back from people like this. All your days are belong to us. Tip sweat punch. All right, my website, I'm experiencing this issue. This site is experiencing technical difficulties and I can't see my website, nor can I log into my WordPress. So the admin panel is also out of order. So it's actually quite easy to fix this, but if you want to be sure which plugin caused it, do the following. Log into your cPanel. For those that are on managed WordPress and don't have access to cPanel, you can still fix this issue with FTP software like FileZilla. The steps are exactly the same, but instead of File Manager, you will need FTP. A video of how to set up an FTP connection with your website will appear on your top right corner now. Did I get that right, Arnie? You are stupid. And in here, you have to go to File Manager, and then you have to find the website folder. So in many websites, it's inside public HTML, and then W content if that's your primary domain. If it's an add-on domain, then it might be here inside. It would say something yourdomain.com in one of the folders. In my case, it actually is here on the side. And as you can see, it's just stormonkeywp.com. So inside here, you just have to scroll down until you see WP config PHP and then right click and choose edit. And in here, just scroll down a little bit until you find, define this WP debug. It's false by default, change it to true, save changes. And then you need to go to your website and refresh the page. Arnie, how do you refresh yourself? Cocaine. And this will give you a bit more detail where the error is occurring. So in my case, as you can see here, it actually tells me what's wrong. Uh, you can follow this path after the plugins dash. You'll see which plugin is actually causing it. So, okay, great. I know that it's this PVA for WP. So now I go back to file manager and now I can go scroll up in the, my main folder for the domain. I go to WP content plugins. And here I need to find the PWA plugin, which is this one, and just rename it. Blah, blah. It doesn't really matter how you rename it, as long as it's different from what it was. And now if we refresh it, you can see that the page is back up. So now you can go to plugins. You can try to reinstall this plugin or just see what uh, if there's any help on the forums. But at least you have your website back and you can do something about it. And just don't forget to go back to the config file and change to false. This is not really a big problem even if you leave it, but it's better just to keep it as false. <laughs> if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, then hit the subscribe button and find the bell icon so you get the, all the updates.